Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. CRISPR stocks, do you buy them and hold them or do you trade them? Well, that was the question I asked in early September to explain how I had approached that question, um, both owning and trading them. It seemed like uh, I was owning Editas, held onto it for three years and just sold it for 40% gains. And now it's up another 60% <laughs> since I sold it. But I actually got back in. So that's the good news is uh, I took a long-term gain. Um, and then after CRISPR started flying, let's take a look at the CRISPR chart. Uh, CRISPR started flying as we went into ASH. And it, if you don't know what ASH is, it stands for American Society of Hematology, which is a big annual event in December um, where physicians and companies come together and talk about uh, blood disorders, blood diseases like sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. Well, uh, CRISPR just over the weekend um, revealed some great new data with their, their partner Vertex um, in both sickle cell and beta thalassemia in patients, uh, over, over 10 patients, um, some of them uh, doing well after a year after the gene editing treatments were able to uh, just change their lives dramatically. And, you know, uh, these these blood diseases they call they call them hemoglobinopathies, like sickle cell, which you're probably familiar with, and beta thalassemia. You know, it has to do with how uh, how hemoglobin um, um, is able to move through the body and the, the manufacture of proteins and uh, transport oxygen, et cetera, and red blood cells. These this is just amazing technology that CRISPR is able to work with it. The stock started rallying even before, look at uh, November 27th, because CRISPR released some positive data, you know, hinting, basically it was the abstracts going into the ASH meeting and investors were very excited about it. Stock breaks out above 110. I actually couldn't get back in uh, to the stock. Uh, it had a it had a low Zax rank. Estimates were continuing to go down. You know, no revenues, losing more and more money every year. So it had a uh, the Zax rank was in the seller, uh, but no analyst had a price target above 110 either. Even some of the big bulls on Wall Street, like uh, Eddie Edward Tentoff at uh, Piper Sandler. So the stock has just roared higher. And um, so luckily though, I got back into edit. And uh, we'll take a look at what Edit's done. Edit has soared another 15, 20% today uh, to new all-time highs above 50 bucks. So that's exciting to see. And remember, in this, uh, in this, when I wrote this report, I I still held all these stocks. Um, actually, I had just taken 70% gains on CRISPR, but um, then we take 40% long-term gains on Edit. And we took 155% gains on Intellia Therapeutics, NTLA, uh, and we'd held that for a year and made uh, and made some nice bank there. So, you know, it's like all of a sudden I had no CRISPR stocks about uh, a little over a week ago. And you can see here's the here's the piece I did then. And so what we did. Um, just last week, going into ash, I said, you know what? I think we got to buy at it down here at um, at 31 bucks because it was just starting to move. And so, you know, we wanted to be in that and it was the right move. Um, so here was the, here's a summary of what CRISPR Therapeutics announced at ash on Saturday, December 5th. Um, this was in the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is a good summary from uh, from Jocelyn Kaiser over at sciencemag.org, and um, just the you know the data is is hard to explain, but the point is is that they're treating patients in these rare blood disorders, you know, where very few treatments exist, but if they're able to cure somebody with the gene editing. Um, I'll just read this one paragraph here. The novel genetic treatments still need longer follow-up. Uh, they have the same safety issues as bone marrow transplants for now. 
and may also be extraordinarily expensive. But there is hope those risks can be eliminated and the costs pared down. This is an amazing time, and it's exciting because it's happening all at once, says hematologist Alexis Thompson of Northwestern University, who, with a company called Bluebird Bio, continues to test yet another genetic strategy that first demonstrated a sickle cell fix several years ago. So that's a good article on uh, on Science Mag. Now, let me tell you why I sold at it, say, over a month ago for 40% gains, because some guy at Baird initiates coverage on edit with a $14 price target. And this is when I was trading it like at 30, um, you know, just extremely bearish, you know, basically a sell rating. And that, that, you know, that sort of spooked me. I thought, is there's, you know, remember the thing to keep in mind about CRISPR is that this is a emer very emerging technology and it has some safety issues. So even if it works, if the safety issues of gene editing, where you could have uh, off-target edits, meaning you go to edit a particular gene and you end up causing edits in other functional genes um, that could destroy someone's life, this is very risky. So that's why the stocks are risky until this is proven and revenues are many, many years out. So that's the you know the risk reward with investing in these stocks where I'm, I'm willing to buy, edit an NTLA at uh, you know, when they're when they're trading under a two billion market cap, I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, and now CRISPR has soared uh, well above five billion. Uh, but the, the big bull here was uh, a Raymond James analyst. Um, and, you know, he uh, he just clarified that, hey, you know, the risk is worth the reward. Um, and we we use that to lean on and and figured it was in our favor. So. That's why we jump back and edit. Um, let me see if I've got. Uh, let's get get some price action here on edit today. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you know, just a uh, just soaring higher and busting out of what you know any technician would call a very long base. If you look at this over uh, many years, the stock the stock's traded between twenty and thirty five for it seems like two years. So why is edit ramping up so much? Um, because they also have positive data to treat sickle cell. So if, if gene, ed gene editing is going to work, the CRISPR variety, and it's both, and it, and they're, and it's safe, then, uh, these companies have huge potential. Now, speaking of, of investors who think about the long-term potential and rarely ever sell the CRISPR stocks, uh, we could go over to ARC Invest. Um, you know, they, they specialize in disruptive innovation. They just they just want to buy stuff that, you know, technology platforms that are changing the world and will continue to do so for 10 or 20 years. So that's AI, robotics, energy storage, DNA sequencing, genomic sequencing, uh, any kind of fintech or blockchain technology. Um, and you can see, you know, th this is what Kathy Wood has done and that why they've made a killing in owning Tesla and the um, anything to do with genomics. So the CRISPR stocks uh, and the sequencing technology like Illumina and Invite um, for diagnostics. The you know the, they have a fund, their ARC G fund, A R K G, the genomics fund. It's it's up like 150 percent this year. It it almost looks like a, a chart of CRISPR or edit. And uh, you know so when you listen to say Kathy Wood talk from from ARC about her investment philosophy, one thing she does is she, she goes back to the 19th century and she says, think about the transformational technology platforms of the 19th century. Um, and this is not from her, this is from uh, uh, GIM Institute, uh, but I, I just, Global Innovation Management Institute. I just found it through a search. I was looking for 19th century technology platforms, obviously railroads, right? Uh, electricity would be huge. Eh, Braille, maybe. <laughs> the bicycle was interesting. Photography was interesting, but it wouldn't rank like in what Kathy calls the top three. The top three would be railroads, electricity, not yet plastics, but the internal combustion engine would be the third, uh, you know, revolutionary technology platform. And then you'd have to make the telephone number four. So 
when you when you think about the context of innovation and how we can have this massive productivity change for the economy and companies and workers and wealth creation um, and and yet low inflation at the same time, you know, that's her thesis of what's going on now. And here are the new platforms. Um, you know, fintech will put blockchain in there, DNA, genomic sequencing, uh, robotics, um, you know, it's almost like the industrial application of artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles. You know, these are the technology platforms that are changing the world and why, you know, you're going to see investors running to this kind of growth and this kind of opportunity. All right. That's it for this uh, month's update on buying or trading the CRISPR stocks. We'll talk to you soon.